Greetings, game girls and game boys. I am Contemplate, and uh, for this lazy Sunday, we're playing Neo Scavenger. It's this cool survival game, and I wanted to record it, and uh, after much effort, I rigged together a way to record it. And you're in my car. Welcome to my car. Isn't it nice? Nope. Good. Let's start. Okay, new game. Yeah, I, I played this game for a very short amount of time, but from what I've played, it's really neat. So let's see, uh, I gotta start up here. Let's go with, uh, I'm gonna go very survival based, and uh, I've learned that there's a couple things that help with surviving. And one of those is going to be, uh, let's see. I'll find them and then I'll edit, and you'll see what I got. So it'll be right, one, one sec. Okay, so I should tell you that each one costs a certain number of dots. Oh yeah, you can zoom, good. So uh, you can zoom in. Each one costs a certain number of points and I have 13, I've used six, and their value is tracked in this corner. So hang on. Okay, yeah, now I can't afford strong because it takes more than that. But I've chosen hiding and melee. So let's see, I also want medic. Not used. Nine left, that's weird. Maybe maybe I'm counting it wrong. Uh, let's go with botany, metabolism, and I'm sure there's a way to see what they each do. And eagle eye, so I have one left. Tracking costs one, so I'll get that. There we go, so that's all of my things there, let's see. Flaws you choose from. Oh, okay, and I have feeble. Nope, put that back. I don't want feeble. Uh, I, but I have to have one now because of the amount of points I've used. So, what's feeble do? Let's see. Feeble. Melee attack effectiveness lessened. Oh, that, see, that doesn't make sense. Let's see what fragile is. Physical wounds, pain, and infections are more severe to you. Healing is slower. No, I don't want that. Insomniac. Insomniac. Okay, you uh, check what they do by just pressing and holding on them. Difficult Difficulty staying asleep and sleeping is less beneficial. So I'm actually going to keep that one and let's go ahead and put back tracking and eagle eye. Ugh, eagle eye is a good one because it's going to let you find more stuff in the wilderness. But oh well, we'll go with that. Um, you've got your stats over here, it looks like. Oh yeah, so you're, how well rested you are, how strong you are, how comfortable you are, so on and so forth. Uh, then you've got your moves. And I just hit confirm by accident, but good as any time to start, right? So here's what the game looks like. It, it looks really like, there's not much to it, but it is such a cool system. Let's, let's see what's happening here. No, stop it, why is it doing that? All right, let's see, uh, this is where we are. This is the room we're in with all the tanks. Let's see, you wake up disoriented, slumped over the base of an empty cryo sleep pod, still damp from cryo fluid. The thick dust from the floor clings to your skin, leaving a clean spot on the ground where a large O5 is painted. Across the room, there's an open door to the hallway and a broken window leading outside. Just as you gather your wits, an unearthly scream erupts from down the hall beyond the doorway. Something is coming. Fast. All right, so let's see what I want to do. Um, I want to use my hiding. No, hiding. Put that back. Oh, what the, huh? Okay, so we're going to try hiding. Currently selected responses from some, find some place to hide. So yeah, we're going to try and hide. Hide! You quickly scan the room for a hiding place and duck behind the cryo tank nearest the window. Hopefully the light from outdoors will make it harder to see you in the nearby shadow. And with most of the room smelling of cryo septicants, cryo protectants, protectants, I don't know, cryo goo, you stand a pretty good chance of having your scent masked. You hold your breath as something enters the room. Its heavy breathing becomes more nasal as it begins sniffing the air. 
The sniffing grows closer, but continues further into the room. Let's out, it lets out an annoyed bark, huffs, and starts sniffing back into the hall. A few minutes later, you're pretty sure you're out of the sh earshot again. So that's the creature that just came a sniffing and my hiding. I don't know it, how likely that is to change because I always cho choose hiding because part of survival is knowing how to not be seen. But uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So confirm. All right, let's check this thing. What's that? You check the console for any patient info and come across three records. Tank number one, Anton Blubber. <laughs> Committed 12-11-11. So now we have some loose idea of what year we're in. I mean, who knows how long ago he was committed, though. Uh, emergency contact, Angela Blubber. 45 Campbell Street, Detroit, Michigan. Uh, billing information, not important, okay. Let's see, tank number five, Philip Kindred. Committed 2019-09-15. No data. Billing info, okay. Uh, Detroit Savings Bank. So we're somewhere near Detroit, probably, seeing as how each person is tied to Det Detroit, Michigan. Shoot, that place is dangerous now. Why would I want to be here in the apocalypse? It was good luck. Oh, good for me. Let's see. Uh, tank number six, Lloyd Blaincheck. Blank check. Blank check. That's not a real name. Sounds like he wanted something illegal done and was willing to pay whatever it took. Committed 2008-1018. Emergency contact Meyer and Meyer LLP 304 South Broadway, Detroit, Michigan. Okay, so there's some other people that were here in this place, whatever the heck this place is. And let's uh, go ahead and examine in the window here. You decide to go outside. Oh, I guess I went out the window. I mean, I knew that was going to happen. Like, I didn't really remember that was going to happen, but I knew it was going to happen. So, let's see. Uh, you decide to go outside and see if you can figure out where you are. Avoiding the broken grass, you step onto a still and you step. Mm -hmm. Let's zoom in here. Oh, I accidentally hit confirmed. Crap. Avoiding the broken glass, you step onto the sill and outside, rustling some plants that have grown wild in the area. It's cool outside and damp, probably morning. The distant report of a gun catches your attention. You cock your head, listening but it's over as quickly as it started. Obviously, you're not alone out here. Though, that doesn't necessarily comfort you. You step outside and stuff. I, you'll have to pause, I'm sorry. Go back and pause and tell me what it says. Oh, okay, cool. You're in the parking lot of Gygus Cryo Facility, but everything looks disused and in disrepair. Plants have pushed their way through the pavement and over the facility. Worst of all, nothing looks familiar. You don't remember this place, or even who you are. Your frustration mounts, but you catch it and put it in check. Might as well look around. Yeah, might as well. Confirm. Okay, now here's the map that you move across. So let's go here since there's a box. Let's go ahead and scavenge. That was on the far right. Scavenge, let's uh, scavenge the square. Scavenge an open field. Confirm. Loot, safety, sneak. So it should be safe, but there's nowhere to hide. Let's go ahead and use botany. Let's see. You found something. Go to the item screen to see what it is. Your activity likely alerted nearby creatures. Good to know. So I just, uh, let's see. How do I check my stuff? I just clicked on myself. Ooh. What is that? How do I, how do I know what that is? Let's see, uh, look at all this water I have. Oh, okay, no, okay. So these, this is what I can get, and I need to choose if I take it or not. So now that's in my hand, but what if I want it in my backpack? Can I drink that? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Dang it. Well, I guess I've left that area. So, let's go ahead and head this way. Yeah, this game's sketchy as hell. 
it's pretty cold out here sadly you can see outdoor temperature in the corner here is low so let's go ahead and let's go into the woods not enough moves left okay so we'll end the turn oh no there's somebody over there oh no all right screw it let's attack last move their last move let's see uh what's what's the eyeball do whoops what's the eyeball do tell me what it does scan area for hiding target hidden targets must not see targets yet okay so let's look around oh there you are hello sir conditions feeble frail barefoot and bleeding oh man this guy's messed up last move and it says versus so that tells me that uh they're probably aggressive okay down at the bottom it tells you what's happening in the scene so uh let's see player searches for unknown target stranger tries to sneak out of battle from player but can't get away stranger is bleeding okay no i just want to let's see this uh this is Demand target surrender, demand target to drop all items and walk away. Both you and the target must see each other. So no, I don't want to do that. I want to do a peace treaty. What's this? Surrender to target. Caution, drop all your items and offer your surrender. Both you and the target must see each other. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. I just want to talk. How do we talk? Threaten, nope. Let's see. Offer to talk. There we go. That's the one I want. Offer to stop battle with target and begin talks. If any combatant still wants to fight, battle continues. Distracts you for a turn. Okay, so that's what I want. Confirm. See, uh, stranger is bleeding. Player offers talk with stranger. Player is temporarily distracted. Stranger retreats from player. Okay, so this guy is just trying to run away. I'm not going to hassle him. So let's try and scavenge this area. So, bloop, confirm. Okay, let's use my botany. Found some junk, cool, confirm. Wait, what the heck? What's that? Is that a water bottle? How do I take it? I want it. I want it, so you give it. Like it shows this backpack, but I'm thinking I don't have a backpack. Is that a necklace that I'm wearing? Okay, whatever the junk this stuff is, take this stuff out of my hands, give me that water bottle. Okay, and then give me that, whatever that is. What is that? Let's see. Well, tell me what that is. Hang on. PW Tronics Digital Water Tester. Holy crap, that's awesome, give me that. Wait, how do I, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just saw it say take drop, take. Okay, now it's in my hand. I really need to find a backpack or something because I'm going to start getting into trouble here if I don't. All right, good enough for me. Uh, uh, okay, let's... Screw it! We're going into the city. As you approach the town, there is no sign of activity. Buildings stand in the ruin. Vehicles are overturned and blocking and blackened with fire. Explosion marks radiate outward from walls and pavement. In the distance, strange-looking creatures circle in the sky like monstrous leathery vultures the world has drastically changed from what you knew some sort of cataclysm has befallen the earth returning mankind to the dark ages and along with it your hopes of finding warm <laughs> your hopes of finding a warm mill and some answers you decide to look around and scavenge what you can from the ruins. I love that because it's like I tried talking to that guy too. Sorry about the autofocus. It really bugs the heck out of me. Uh, I tried talking to him and he ran. So that just kind of speaks to you about how scary this world is. The dude was bleeding and hungry and feeble and frail and he ran. Like I was like, hey, no, let's talk. And he was like, nah, you're distracted with words. I'm gone. And he ran away. Now I could have followed him, but of course I would have just had to punch him to death. And uh, I'm not so desperate for survival just yet, so confirm. So how do I scavenge? Oh, do I have to end my turn first? Okay, so end turn. All right, let's see. Uh, one or more creatures approach, but none have seen you yet. Will you sneak closer to them or keep your distance? Uh, I think that's keep my distance, right? 
Engage from afar. Engage up close. Uh, that sucks. I want to engage from afar, I guess. You try to position yourself a safe distance away and get ready. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see. Stranger. Conditions. Feeble, frail, barefoot, bleeding. Same same conditions as the pre, for, pre, 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 past previous person, I guess. Oh, that sucks. I think you get to choose your name, but I guess I didn't do that. So let's see. Uh, sneaky retreat. <laughs> that might be what I do. Let's let's go ahead and wait and just see what he does. Let's scavenge. Okay, nice. Scavenge this area. Scavenge destroyed office building. No, I don't want to. No, let's not waste any time with that. Scavenge and abandon office tower. No. Office building. And what's this last one here? A crumbling apartment building. There we go. An apartment building should have a pretty good chance of having stuff in it. You decide to check out a crumbling apartment building. It's a mess inside. Broken bricks laying piles. Bits of glass everywhere. Like glittering dust. Water stains. Water stains and dead leaves litter the outer edges of the building. And rock dust still covers areas shattered from the elements. Scavengers before you have obviously picked most of the easy scores clean. But a little elbow grease and some risk taking might reward and reward the intrepid treasure seeker. So, uh, yeah, it's hiding, I guess. Whoa, what was all that? Oh, dude, so much clothes. Let's put that on my foot. Put it on. No, put it on. How do you feet? There we go. Okay, I just have to be more accurate. Boom, some shoes. I think these are pants. Am I loading up the shopping cart? <laughs> I think I put the stuff in the shopping cart. Okay, cool. Uh, I now have clothes. What is that? Patchwork hide tunic. Oh, heck yeah. Put that on, bro. Wear that. Yes, put it on. Oh, dude, I've never survived this long, so I've never seen this. That is awesome. Is that a torch? Wait, where'd that go? Uh, sorry, getting distracted. Just trying to figure all this out. Let's see. Wait, what? What? Okay, yeah, those are pants. What's this? Is that a shirt? Put that shirt on. But did I, oh, it's my gown. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I was really hoping to find like, uh, are those Twinkies? Let's see, okay. Actually, I want the newspaper because I want extra information here. Player is wearing improper footwear and is uncomfortable. Okay. I don't know what that means. All right. So I'm, I'm a little bit confused, to be quite honest. Let's see. All right. Well, okay. That's going to be as much time as I'm going to put into this, especially since I'm just recording in my car real quick. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. This game is really neat, and uh, I'm going to continue playing it. And if you'd like to see me continue playing it, let me know down in the comment section, because it's pretty awesome from what I've seen. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Those are the three do's, and you should do them. I'll see you guys next time. Game over. Geo Scavenger, I think was the name. Cool game.